So you've made it to step four of the giving it up in six step series. And this is the point where you finally get to give it up. And what we're doing here is we're transforming that habit. So instead of releasing or instead of saying a, a complete goodbye to, you're changing that energy. You're transforming it into something that's a lot more beneficial and will really help you, hopefully, in the future instead. So there are lots of different ways in which you can work with giving up habits. And for me, transforming always feels like a kinder option. It feels like a, an option where you're able to hold on to that energy, the energy that's been really part of your life, but to change it into something that's much, much better for you. So there are so many different approaches to helping people give up habits. And if you've had your habit for a while, you've probably maybe tried a few of them. One of the approaches that's used a lot is the behavioral approach where you look at what you're doing and you pretty much tell yourself to stop doing it. So it's basically going, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to flip it and I'm not going to do it anymore. So in hypnosis, what you would do is you would basically access the subconscious and then you would simply tell the subconscious, we don't do this anymore, do this instead. And for some people, this really works. But for really ingrained habits, and especially those that have a core where there was, at least at the beginning, and maybe still is, real positive intent somewhere within them, sometimes this doesn't work. And the subconscious is really holding on to that and saying, no, I don't want to give this up. And what you might find with that approach is that it will work for a while. So for some people, it might work for a few days. For some, it may work for a few weeks. It may even work for a few months, it might even work for a few years. But when something then triggers you that the subconscious wants to then fall back on its old ideas, its old coping mechanisms, it might simply just slide back into what it was doing. And we've all been in situations where change is created from the top and, you know, all of the employees are told we do it this way now and they all just revert back to doing exactly what they were doing before. And it's the same with the subconscious. So simply saying we do this now often just isn't enough. And that's why we work to transform. We work to isolate that after we've understood all of the reasons why we do the habit, we look at transforming. And you can choose at this point to either transform or to release. So if you feel that the energy that made up your habit isn't part of you and that the habit is something very separate to you, you can choose instead to release that energy. So just basically to let it go. If you feel that that energy really is a part of you and it's a part of your persona and particularly with habits that have been a long time, this may be the case, that's when you choose instead to transform because we can't release or banish a part of ourselves. All we can do is to transform it and welcome it. So we don't get, unfortunately, to say, you're not working, go away. That part of our self still exists, but instead it's repressed. And we all know when things are repressed and hidden, particularly when it comes to the brain, they almost create more problems from repression. They grow, they're planted rather than when they're visible. So 
transforming, taking that energy, taking all that good intent and changing it to something that is positive is a much better way of doing that. Now, when I work live and in real time with clients, either in person or online, I'm able to work through what their subconscious is choosing to do. So I'm able to work through with them and to get them to talk back to me. So they're able to say, yes, this feels like me. I'm going to transform it or this is not me. I'm going to release it. So in a a live situation when you're working directly with a hypnotherapist it's much easy to, much easier to choose in the moment what you want to do but for the purposes of this program where it's distance i've chosen to use the transform method because that is what works sort of most of the time for most of my clients. It's it's more unusual to have something that's a habit that then becomes released. So in this instance, in this particular process, I've used transform rather than release. So what we're doing here is we're actively choosing what we want that habit or addiction energy to transform into. So we will have spent some time thinking about what we want, thinking about what could replace it in the last kind of few steps. So now we're actively telling the subconscious what we want to transform it into. Now, if you look to give up a habit, without that active choosing stage, what could happen is your subconscious could choose for you. So there's a risk that it might just fall back on what it already knows and just go back to doing what it already was. Or it could end up replacing that habit with something that's more problematic or that maybe is equally as problematic. So you'll notice sometimes people are referred to as having addictive personalities. And part of that really is where if you give up one thing that's doing a particular role, you might find that your brain wants to replace it with something else. So it could be that that habit is creating a dopamine response it could be that it's creating a self-soothing response or a nervous system calming response so whatever the subconscious finds next and discovers next it might then latch on to and you'll do that instead and some habits are better than others so for some people for example you may find that you give up alcohol and you start running and the running is something that's really beneficial For others, the same thing, that running, might start causing issues. So that running might become an addiction in itself and the body may be damaged by the sheer amount of running. So um, it's really worth just making sure and taking that transform step so that you decide, yes, this is what I want to transform it into and that I've recognized all of the risks that that might bring. And even if you're releasing rather than transforming, you're still going to be left with that almost energetic hole. So there will be a space where the energy no longer is that the universe or whatever will try and refill. So, you know, there's always times where we find that we kind of have more time in our life. We give up one hobby and then we find that there's a lot more things that have been put into its place and we're still as busy. It's sort of the same with energy. So what you're doing, whether you release or whether you transform, is finding something to fit in that hole so that your subconscious or the universe doesn't do it for you. 
So when we transform, we're repurposing that energy. We're using it for something else. So like a big blanket that you may be turning into pillowcases or a duvet cover you're turning into a bag, you're taking that and changing it and reusing it. So as ever, if you're going down the non-self-hypnosis route, then you can do this in more of a symbolic way as well. And the way I would suggest you do this is by taking something. And you can also do this if you're going down the guided self-hypnosis route. You can do both things. But what you would do is you would take something that is very associated with your habit and just change it into something else so reach you know change it around um repurpose it get it designed by somebody get it remade into something else or if your habit is one that involves spending a lot of money you could um absolutely choose something to spend that money on instead so you may choose to get a subscription box or pay for a new service or have a new thing that you bring yourself every month. So creating a space, <coughs> creating the energy change so that you know where the money that would go on that habit is going and actively start from this point spending the money there so that the energetic line that change is symbolically taking place already. So hopefully in step three, you would have found what you want to transform that energy into. Or you may have a couple of ideas and you may be letting your subconscious pick from those ideas. But hopefully as you go into this guided self-hypnosis, you will already have some clue of what you want to transform that energy into. And if you don't, it might be worth just taking some time now to really investigate what that might be. And we're now coming into the guided self-hypnosis. So as ever, do not listen to this whilst driving or operating machinery as it's designed to relax you. So by this point in the six steps, you probably have already got everything ready to make sure you're comfortable. You probably already know what sort of setup works best for you in terms of relaxing. And you probably are already starting as you listen to the first step of this video, and as you listen to me now, you're probably already starting to prepare to move into hypnosis, to take yourself into that deep, deep relaxation. And maybe you don't need very much from me at all to talk you down into it. And maybe you already have your eyes closed. But if you don't, just take that deep breath in. And as you slowly let that breath out, just let your eyes close now. And recognize that feeling of moving closer and closer to relaxation. Recognize that feeling of knowing that you're about to sink deeper and deeper into that sense of bliss. Recognizing that you'll be aware of some of the sounds in the room around you and that your body might be reminding you of specific sensations, but knowing that from now onwards, every sound, and every sensation will take you deeper and deeper into relaxation. And as you listen to my voice, every word I say takes you deeper into trance. 
and you realize as you listen that you're not concentrating on every single word and you're just letting my words wash over you because your subconscious is listening and it's ready to follow my instructions as you let your conscious mind follow its thoughts. And I'm wondering now what those conscious thoughts are for you today as my words bring you deeper and deeper into trance. And maybe today you'll see these thoughts not as distractions, but as beautiful reminders of the things your mind wants you to hold on to. And maybe today you'll see these as drops of water falling from the sky, individual droplets falling onto you or around you, falling and becoming one with the floor, with your skin, with each other, simply being singled out as a droplet and then reabsorbed into the energy of your mind. And let these droplets fall. Feel them as they drip onto you. Be aware what temperature they are. Feel them on your skin. And watch them falling onto your surroundings, puddling and absorbing, so that with every drop, however it falls, you feel yourself becoming more and more relaxed. And take some deep breaths now and continue to relax as you imagine these beautiful droplets of water collecting together to become that calming emotion sea you know so well. And as the water puddles around your feet, gently allow the muscles in your feet to relax. And as that water level rises, push the relaxation up along with it, up to your ankles, to your lower legs, your knees, your thighs, and up, up to your hips. And as the water level rises to your hips, Feel the base of your spine and the bottom of your nervous system begin to relax. And put your awareness onto your hips now and release any tension you feel within them. See it rise outwards with every outbreath like a halo of golden light spreading from your hips. And the water that's pooling around you is emotion sea. This is a special sea which will surround you and will neutralize any emotions you wish to place into it. So that whenever you need to, you can pass an emotion you're feeling to the sea and it will turn down the intensity of it so that you can experience memories and explore emotions in that safe, supported, protected way. And let that emotion see rise now up to your stomach as you focus your breathing on your stomach and sense it rising and falling with every breath. And put your awareness onto your stomach and feel the tension within it release with every out breath. Like that halo of golden light spreading from it. 
and bring that emotion C upwards now, up to your heart, to your chest, as you feel it neutralizing the tension from that area, floating out into the water, spreading in that halo of gold, taking that tension from you and bringing instead a sense of calm. And let that sea rise now up, up to your shoulders, to your neck, your throat, and feel it neutralizing any tension from your throat, letting it be taken by the sea as a halo of light spreading outwards. And remembering that you can give emotions to this sea at any point and that you can see and breathe perfectly through it and it feels comfortable and relaxing on all of your body. So let that sea rise, taking the relaxation up through your face through your jaw, through the muscles around your eyes, the muscles across your forehead, releasing any tension into the sea as it swirls out as gold and leaves you feeling neutralized and safe. And feel that sea rise above your head now just pushing any feelings of tension, of discomfort, or any emotions you don't wish to experience right now into the sea. You feel wonderful, all completely safe and relaxed and calm. And what an amazing feeling this is now, to be sitting in this beautiful sense of calmness and safety, in this love and contentedness that you've brought as a gift to yourself. And water, as it collects together, becomes puddles. And then ponds and rivers, lakes and seas, and water, as it travels, takes the path of least resistance to gather together, to connect and to flow. And your mind may be following my words now, creating rivers and lakes, swirling water, connecting water to water. And just allow it to follow the imagery it needs to. For you will continue to follow my instructions. Watch that water swirl now. Into a sea of water with you within it. Feel its coolness against your skin. And breathe in the saltiness that rises up from it. And within the emotion sea, you can breathe easily and your eyes will feel completely comfortable and relaxed whenever it's present. And I'm going to count down now from 10 to 1. And as I count, you will feel more and more relaxed with every number until you feel 10 times deeper relaxed than you currently feel. Are you ready? Let's begin. 10. The swirling sea is now calming. 9. And you find you feel safe to lay back within it. 8. 
and it laps around you as you float. Seven. You can see the moon now above you. Six. As the water supports you. Five. And it feels so calming and so relaxing to be floating with the water lapping around you. Four. So very calming. Three. And so neutralizing. Two. Keeping you safe as you gaze up at that big, bright moon. And one. Feeling safe and calm and ten times deeper relaxed. And today we're going to work with that habit. It's something you've been waiting for for a while. But the day is here. And you feel a real sense of pride in yourself for getting to this stage because you're amazing and you've done so well. And we're going to start by really holding on to that feeling of pride and that feeling of satisfaction and as you recognize how well you've done to get to here you're going to start by really recognizing your core energy being aware as you feel your body and as you're aware of your body, which energy feels its most truest. And you may sense this energy in different ways. So you may be able to recognize it as a color. You may recognize it as a sound as a temperature, you may recognize it as a vibration. And I'm wondering how you're feeling, how you're experiencing the core of yourself now, that strength of energy. And I'm wondering where you're experiencing this on your body. Where on your body you can feel it in its most truest self. And hold on to this. Hold on to this sensation. And remember this. Remember this sensation. So that when I say your core energy, this is what you will come back to. And now think about your habit. Think about that which you're about to transform. And think about how it feels. Think about the emotions that come up for you with this habit. Think about how it feels to you. Think about where on your body you experience it most, where you associate it most with on your body. And sense that 
And I'm wondering how you're experiencing that. Whether you're seeing it as a colour, whether you're hearing it as a note, whether you're feeling it as a sensation or as a temperature, whether you're see sensing it as a vibration. But sensing it and experiencing it, you are. So hold on to that. Really fully experience that sensation. Really experience that habit. Recognize where on your body you're holding it. And now collect all of that together. Collect it together so that it becomes a piece all of its own. So it's almost as though it's a big collection of jelly. Now, that jelly that you've collected all together is very distinct from your core energy. And you're going to draw that jelly out of you now. You're going to draw it out of you with every outbreath. With every outbreath, drawing it into that emotion sea. Out and out, drawing it from you, bringing it out into that sea. And in the sea, you can take a really good look at it. You can really see it. But today, you've chosen to transform this. And this is what you're going to do. We're going to transform this habit that you're looking at now in its purest form and recognizing fully for what it is. We're going to transform this now. So now, in your hand, you see an object. And that object represents the thing that you're going to transform that habit into. Take a look at it. Again, recognizing what it represents. Do you fully consent to this transformation now? Are you ready to make this change? And no sooner have you agreed, no sooner have you said yes, the object floats out of your hand and into the sea. The emotion sea is drawing it towards that habit, drawing it ever closer. And now as it touches it, Watch that transformation happen. See the object and the habit come together. And recognize the feeling of absolute relief. That feeling of full love as that transformation takes place. And I'm wondering how you're experiencing this energy now. How it's changed, how it's adapted. And I'm wondering how that sense of relief feels for your body.
and just take a moment to really appreciate this newness appreciate this glorious transformation as you look at the true self of that new transformed energy and now you're going to welcome it home you want to welcome it back into you and with every in breath you will suck that transformation that newness into you will come back through the sea towards your body closer and closer with every in breath until it's touching you and you're absorbing it back, back, back into your body, into your core energy. And I'm wondering now where on your body that energy goes. I'm wondering where it's finding its home. And I'm wondering how it feels to be welcomed home, to be loved, to be accepted, to be part of you once more. Now you feel complete and strong and calm. And just really enjoy this feeling of strength and satisfaction. As you breathe in and out and become aware again of your body, become aware of the different parts of it, become aware of how it feels to breathe. becoming aware of the, the core self of you, becoming aware of how it feels to be you. And now I'm going to bring you back to your everyday consciousness. And I will do this by counting from one up to five. Are you ready? You will use these numbers to reorientate yourself. And on the count of five, your eyes will be fully open and you will feel fully alert and contented and fully awake and ready to continue your day. You will feel completely rested and rejuvenated and be feeling wonderful about yourself inside and out. Let's begin. One, slowly, calmly, easily and gently returning to your full awareness once again. Two, feeling completely rested and refreshed and ready to continue your day. Three, from head to toe feeling wonderful inside and out, physically fresh mentally balanced and emotionally calm. Four, your eyes begin to feel sparkling clear and fresh. And five, eyes wide open, fully aware and feeling wonderful. So there we are. That transformation is here. That habit is no more. And you'll feel over the next few days that real sense of relief, that sense of happiness, of feeling absolutely, you know, rightly proud in yourself. This is some amazing work that you've done and the rewards will be huge. So really enjoy that for these next few days. 
But step five and six are still coming. And step five is the process of grieving. And everything that we say goodbye to in our lives has an element of grief associated with it. So I really urge you not to skip step five and to really kind of embrace step five. So when that comes out and do kind of hit the subscribe button so that you can see it and so that you can see when it's released, take the time to really use step five to process and to work through that grief that completely normal grief. So I'll see you in step five.